Your YouTube channel is at risk of demonetization. You heard me right. Your YouTube channel is at risk of demonetization if you are among the set of people who does these things I'm about to mention. If you are guilty of these things I'm about to mention now, your YouTube channel is at risk of demonetization. And if you are still a new content creator, a small YouTuber, you may get an email that you are violating some YouTube um, rules and guidelines. There are YouTubers who are currently blowing up on YouTube just by using um silent live streaming yeah silent live streaming is very very good but if you are not using it in the right way you might be attracting a lot of violations which will in turn bring about the monetization of your youtube channel now i'm not saying that you should not use um restream.io for you know growing your channel to 4000 watch hour and 1000 subscribers but there are ways to go about it that you will not end up getting flagged your content being flagged for you know reuse content that is what is in vogue now youtube them um, deleting channel and demonetizing channels just because they are using reuse content on their youtube channel youtube doesn't like when someone is reusing a particular content over and over again i see people using um restream um dot io website to you know look and look a video over and over again okay because an octopus video is fetching you a lot of viewers doesn't mean that you continue using that same particular octopus video you can use the same octopus video but make sure that that octopus video that you are using is not the same one that you've already used to go on silent live stream i hope you're understanding what i'm saying disclaimer i'm not saying that Restream.io is the cause of the recent demonetization of um, YouTube channels. No, I'm saying that you are not doing it the right way. That's why you are having um, copyright strikes and the rest of it on your YouTube channel. I see some people saying that you should get um, videos from social websites, social sites um, that are that are copyright free. My dear, people people are the ones that put that video there. Some of them will tell you that it's copyright free, but most of them are really not copyright free. What if someday someone decides that I want to, you know, take out my video from that website, um, from that site and monetize that video? What will now happen to your content, which in which you have already used that particular video um, in getting your views and your subscribers? So what I'm trying to say that even if you get those videos from these sites, react very well on these videos i mean react very well on these videos put sounds that are copyright free if possible forget about the sound because many of us don't even know how to go about the sound thing each time we add sound to our videos definitely they are flagging it because we don't know the right sound and we don't even know how to get copyrighted free sounds youtube already has its own sound so why not use YouTube sound, the sound that YouTube have already, have already provided for us that are free. But you want to use those ones that, you know, that will bring more viewers. You want to use those sounds that will bring more viewers. Secondly, uh, I see people using comedy skit videos. Be careful. Be careful. There is this channel that I watched previously. This channel was saying that if you want to use these um, videos, for growing your youtube views and getting your subscribers your 1000 subscribers that you should try and get videos that are not showing their faces faces of the people if possible make sure that these videos are just maybe even if it's animal videos even most animal videos now has copyright claims to it make sure that these videos are videos that are not showing the, the faces or faces of people let it just be the hand gestures okay Videos that have that that has to do with only hand gestures without showing their faces, they tend to do well and they're not prone to copyright strikes. So get this right, okay? I'm not saying you should not use Restream.io, OneStream, or any other streaming platforms that you want to use to, to you know, um, go on your live stream. But make sure that you are doing it the right way. Now, I'm going to be telling you the advantages and disadvantages of using Restream.io or using any other streaming platforms or any other streaming websites to go on silent um, live stream, okay? One of the advantages of using silent live stream, you'll be getting daily massive views. You'll be getting massive views. Your views are just going to keep on coming in because um, especially when you use the loop option, of the silent of the silent live streaming 
if you use the loop option and you 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 know loop this video to run for oh for about two three hours and if you have the capacity and the data the money and subscription and the battery because most people are living in a country that they don't have steady um, power supply if you're living in a country that has steady power supply and free wi-fi you can loop this video for up to 10 11 hours but it shouldn't exceed 12 hours are you getting what i'm saying it shouldn't exceed 11 hours 59 seconds if it exceeds 11 hours um youtube definitely is going to archive that your that your video or that your, your that's your live stream and every views you've accumulated from that video it's it's not going to count okay in fact that video won't even be showing on your on your page on your channel i mean so make sure that you are you're streaming um that video um or that um live for 11 hours nothing more than 11 hours okay the second point for the advantages of using um silent live stream for growing your first 1000 subscribers and your completing your 4000 watch hour is that you'll be completing your 4000 watch hour in no time imagine you're on a live stream and you are having nothing less than 500 viewers even even as low as 50 viewers if you keep on doing that on a daily basis or even two times in a day and remember you shouldn't exceed um 11 hours maybe the first one you do you do for five hours the second one you do for five or six hours then you loop this video to run for about five to six hours daily you can accumulate about fifteen thousand views thirty thousand views it depends on how interesting that video is on how interesting that live stream is trust me if you do it the right way you'll be completing your four thousand watch hour in less than 30 days some people already completed years in seven days in less than one week yes depending how interesting and engaging that video is you can complete your 4000 watch hour in less than 30 days take it i said it okay it works less on our list is unlimited subscribers in as much as you are getting the views your subscribers are not left behind your subscribers will keep coming in you can get on on one live stream you can get about 200 subscribers facts okay this is something that I, I have actually done and it worked for me, okay? You can get some nothing less than 200 subscribers on one live stream. If, you are, if, that, if that live stream is running for about you know, four to five hours and has enough viewers, you can get subscribers. Then imagine getting 200 subscribers in seven days. You know what it means. You're, you're already completing your 1,000 1, subscribers so this don't sleep on these guys don't sleep on this but make sure you're doing it the right way so the last on our list is monetization um when you are using this silent live stream there's every tendency in fact it's an 80 percent tendency that you are going to get monetized very very easily very very fast because you are completing your 4,000 watch hour in no time and you're also getting 1,000 subscribers in no time so you're getting monetized your channel getting monetized will be very easy so far you are not having um problems with those videos that you used to loop on live stream okay now this will take us to the disadvantages of using live stream to grow on youtube i don't want you to freak out okay in as much as there is a massive advantage there are still disadvantages to everything in life okay it has to balance advantages and disadvantages here the disadvantages comes so one of the disadvantages of i mean this is something I'm, i've already um, noticed in most of my fellow youtubers that are using this um, system or pattern to you know complete their photos and watch hour i've already you know i've analyzed their channel gone into their channel one by one and see how they are doing and i'm telling you for fact that you will be accumulating ghost subscribers <laughs> You'll be accumulating good subscribers because tell me how you'll be having close to 550 something thousand views on one live stream and on your long form videos you are having just 30 views 100 views so where are those subscribers you and you have like 40 000 subscribers where are all those subscribers where are they why because you're accumulating them from your live stream this 
the people that are the, 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 the audience for your live stream is almost similar to your audience of shorts. They are almost similar. And I see people saying that shorts is going to ruin your channel. It's almost like the same thing. Okay? You'll be... <laughs> You'll be accumulating good subscribers. These subscribers will never come to watch your long form videos. Okay. So you should be mindful when using this and know the I'm just stating out this at disadvantages. So you will know what you are up against. So when you are seeing these things on your channel, you will not be surprised. Yeah, your hundred thousand subscribers from that you accumulated from your silent live stream are not interested um, in your long form videos, except what your um your live stream is very very similar to your niche okay if your live stream is not similar to your niche then that is where the problem is if it's similar to your niche when they when their your videos um pops up on their live stream they are there's every tendency that they would like to watch okay but if it's way different from your niche they are not going to be watching your videos your love for videos so that is one of the most important disadvantage i actually observed okay so the second disadvantage of um this um silent live stream is if you are below 100 subscribers i am speaking from um from experience from my own from what i have observed on my own channel if you're below 100 subscribers the possibility of you getting views on your silent live stream is very slim yeah because when i was below um 100 subscribers i tried this it didn't work but when i when i clicked 100 subscribers and one of my videos blew up okay so that video that blew up was not suggesting you know my life to a lot of people it just like it was a boost you know that that's my video that my love for video that went viral gave my channel a boost so youtube had to push my live stream as well seeing that one of my long form videos um is already doing well so if you're above 100 subscribers there is a possibility that you will go viral but below 100 subscribers and you don't even have even if it's one viral long form videos on your on your youtube channel the possibility is slim i'm speaking from my, from my experience i don't know if it's a general thing but that's what i observed on my channel and that's what i'm spilling out here for you guys the third disadvantage of using um silent live stream on restream.io is you are at risk of demonetization your channel is at risk of demonetization if you violate any rule okay if you violate any rule or any guideline any youtube guideline through that live stream you are in for the monetization there is no there is no two ways about it so that's why um, i said earlier at the beginning of this video that you should be mindful of you know re reused content be mindful of reused content make sure you're getting fresh content to go on your live stream daily in conclusion there is a suggestion i'm going to make for you okay now if you've gotten your 1000 subscribers and your 4000 watch hour i will strongly suggest you reduce the way you go live okay reduce the way you do the silent live stream you can do it um every once in a week or two times in a week don't do it daily or two times in a day okay reduce it so youtube can as well push your long form videos because the more you are you, you are you doing that live streaming that silent live stream that is not related to your niche the more youtube will keep recommending your page your channel to people who love that kind of content meanwhile that is not what your niche is all about that's not what your channel is all about so you have to you know gradually reduce it and if possible you stop it's just up to you okay so the second suggestion i will make is as well as you are doing um silent live stream make sure you're doing your normal live stream once in a while come out show your face engage with your community let them get to know you and your real um subscribers will always you know turn up for you whenever you post your long form videos i wish you well okay i wish all of us well try as much as possible to do it the right way and your channel won't be demonetized if you like this content and if you like to be seen this beautiful face i would strongly advise you click the like and notification button and also subscribe to this channel so you get premium content thanks for stopping by and see you on the next one where i'll be sharing amazing tips and tricks for you to go viral i love you